there. You kind of invited me over. Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, uh, you said you wanted to go camping, but were scared. I mean, I could be your big, tough, Lamia best friend if you wish. <laughs> what? Do I want to be your boyfriend too? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Oh, you don't have to be so for real. Okay, okay, I'll stop teasing you for now. <laughs> Do you have everything you need, though? You know, your camping gear, your tents. All right, all right, it's all packed in that backpack. Oh, it's not called a backpack, it's called a traveler's pack? Sure, and I'm a heartbeat. Hmm. <laughs> Well, okay, fine, fine. I believe you. I believe you. Temperamental. All right. Let's head out. Mm-hmm. You want to ride me? I'm not a horse, you know. All right, all right, all right. Don't get your panties in a twist. You can ride my tail. Don't step on the end. Yes, I know I said I would never harm you. So that's the few times I have through elementary school. And maybe the time I did in kindergarten. And maybe I tried to eat you in middle school. But that's besides the point. You deserved, the, deserved almost to get eaten that one time. Hey, it's not my fault you decided to walk around dressed up as a giant steak. You should know better around me. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, let's keep going. Mm hmm What was it like for me with you being inside me? It was fairly nice. I gotta say, you're quite filling. <laughs> Would I eat you again? I don't think so. As tasty as you were, I kind of like you. <laughs> you know, since I'm essentially going to be your bodyguard out in the forest. <laughs> Why do you even want to go on this camping trip anyway? Isn't it nice inside your fancy home with, what do you guys call it? Electricity? I'm joking, yes. I also have a home. I don't live too far away from you. Of course those humans adopted me, but ever since they dropped the monster policy and allowed monsters and humans to fully mingle together, even going to school together, things have been pretty nice. Me and you being best friends, though, is kind of ironic when you think about it. Your parents being monster hunters. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. Huh? Do I resent you? Uh, no, not in the slightest. You're not responsible for your parents. It's not your fault they were monster killers. And it's the same that's I expect you not to hold me to my parents. I don't eat humans. Well, I try not to. As you can see, sometimes I have incidents. <laughs> as like the one in middle school. Uh, speaking of which, I never asked you because I figured it's too taboo, but since you asked me... Um, what was it like, y you know, to be inside of me? Uh-huh. It was squishy and soft. I mean, I, g I guess I could get that, but what did the texture like? Like, what did you feel? Was it slimy? It was. Hmm. Oh, I just kind of figured it'd be like burny, you know, like acidic. I mean, I guess you were only in my human stomach. You weren't in the tail stomach yet, so I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, if I would have pushed you into the tail stomach, you probably would have been a goner. Uh, luckily, though, someone snapped me out of it. <laughs> well, that someone was you when you snuck a taser on campus grounds. That was the highest shock of my life. <laughs> it was a real shocker. <laughs> All right, here we are. Hmm. There's not much of a campsite here. I figured there would at least be a couple trees, but we're in a valley. Uh, what if it rains? I listen, I'm big, but I'm not cover the whole sky big. Oh. Okay, well, I guess you can get in your sleeping... I'll help you set up your tent, and we'll get you in your sleeping bag, and it'll all be good. Yeah. Alrighty. Staking this down. And... Ow! Mmm. Hit my thumb. No, it's fine. Ooh, it stings. Well, unlike you humans, our skin's a lot more... Different. It cracks a lot easier, as you can see. See? Little little cracks. Whereas yours is soft and squishy. 
just squinch your little cheeks. <laughs> oh, I'm messing with you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to see my mouth? Okay. Uh, this is the thing you like. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. It's all good. I told you, I'm not going to digest you. Well, yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, you, you know how it is. Middle school, I almost did it. In high school, you came very close when you decided to charge your arm down my throat. What were you trying to accomplish by that anyway? I know I ate your book. I was kind of a bully. But I mean, is a book really worth your life? I guess that's true. It was 30 bucks, but... Still, you know, you probably would have had someone else pay for it. You know, back then I could have actually killed you. Oh no, I couldn't dream of doing it now, I mean, with how kind you've been to me. After, you know, the, the act fell through, I had nowhere to live, and even though I treated you so horribly, almost killed you several times by constriction, uh, tried to eat you, tried to poison you, you, despite all that, decided to invite me to your home and start taking care of me, even though you were no longer required to. And I'll never forget your kindness. So as much as I tease you and make fun of you and mess with you, from the bottom of my heart, I honestly like you a lot. I know I may be harsh and I may pick, you know, like I said earlier, I may pick on you, but Nowadays, I don't know what I'd do without you. You're like my balance, you know? Uh, yin and yang. There's a little good in me and a tiny bit of evil in you. It's, it's you know, very good with a tiny bit of evil, and I'm a lot of evil with a tiny bit of good, you know? it's. Hey, I am totally evil. <laughs> if you don't count almost digesting you alive evil, I don't know what. Huh? I wasn't under my senses. Well, I mean, of course, I don't want to digest people, even my worst enemies. Too cruel of a fate, but... Still, you shouldn't test those things, you know? It could be fairly dangerous. Huh? <laughs> oh, you want me to constrict you now? What happened to you not wanting me to kill you, and fighting for your life, and all the human instinct you have inside of you? Figured they'd be screaming at you to not have me squeeze you. Hmm? Your sleeping bag is gone. Oh, j just look more into it. Come on, look in the sleeping bag. Come on, it's got to be in there somewhere. L let me see. Nope. Nope. Again, nope. Oh, come on, you brought your teddy bear, but you didn't bring your sleeping bag. Come on, priorities. Uh... Okay. Well, I can confirm there's no sleeping bag. Shit. Well, we can head back. Sorry you won't get to do your camping thing. I mean, staying outside in the cold probably wouldn't be the best option. D hey, why are you hugging on to me and trying to stop me from moving? Huh? You have another solution to not being cold. Look... Whatever it is, I don't think sleeping inside the tree is going to help. I think it might make the squirrels angry. That's not what you're thinking. Okay, good, because there's no trees. Dig a hole, maybe? Fine, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. I'll stop talking over you. Uh, huh? Okay, you've really lost your mind. Okay, look, look. I know I tried to eat you in middle school. And I almost ate you in high school. And I make jokes about eating you all the time. It doesn't mean I actually want to do it. I like you. You're my buddy. My, you know, I like hanging out with you. I, I you know, I like hanging out at the beach with you. We go on trips. You know, we, we want to try that airline one time and I got my butt stuck in the bathroom. We all laugh at that. We all have good times. What would be the point of me killing you now? Uh-huh. You don't want me to kill you. Then why did you just ask me to eat you? Huh? Warm? You want to be warm inside of me? D do you really trust me that much? I mean, yeah, you could be warm inside me, or what if I just suddenly turned evil and decided to digest you? You shouldn't just trust a Lamia out of the blue. 
You don't trust Lamias, you trust me. Mm. I am really not sure about this. Well, there's multiple reasons. One, if I get caught, you know, I'll kind of be put in jail for the rest of my life. Uh, two, um, eating humans is very much against the law. And three, I, I really like you. Like, like, like you. I, I, uh, I love you, dummy. All right? Do you get it through your thick skull? I love you. I want to be with you. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. And you kissed me. Does this mean you love me too? Oh. You still want to get eaten? I, I promise to bring you back up, okay? I promise to keep you safe. All right, let me... It's easier if I can wrap you up and then put my head downward towards your face. All right. And if at any time you want out, just, just let me know and I'll immediately let you out, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ow! Are you okay in there? I can feel you in my stomach. Uh, um, not too acidic? Uh, okay, good, it's not acidic at all. Whew, I have slight control over my stomach, but not very much. I have more control of this one than my tail stomach. <laughs> How does it feel in there? Hmm, huh, oh, you're gonna take a nap. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I'll wake you up when it's morning, I guess. Um, I have a good nap, I guess. Hmm. I guess I should fall out. Lean up against this tree. Oh, alrighty, well. Good night. Oh, hmm.